Hey guys, Dusty here. I thought today I would do a little triathlon show and tell and show you all the gear that I use on an almost daily basis. And we'll start with my pain cave. So this is my office slash tiny little pain cave and start with my bike. Let's actually store my bike using this little tiny thing screwed into the wall called a clug. I did a review on that a few months ago, I think. And then here's my bike. It's a pretty basic bike. This, this is the Cannondale Slice. It's their trap on specific bike. And this one is actually just uh, entry level. Um, I did re replace the stock handlebars with these zip handlebars. And I replaced the stock seat with this nice specialized seat that I much prefer. And my setup is pretty basic. I have a holder zip tied between my handlebars here. And then I also have two water bottle holders here as well. Uh, for shorter races, I actually take one or both of these out and just use the one between my handlebars. Much more aerodynamic. And then I'm rocking the Garmin Vector pedals. So these are the power meter that's on my bike. And I've had these for many, many years and I love them. Moving along here to some storage. Uh, up here, I just have my camera stuff that I shoot a lot of these YouTube videos with. I've got some tripods, lenses. I won't worry with all that. Down below in here, I have some backup goggles, swim caps. It's where I keep my uh, stretch cords. I did a review on those as well a couple of months ago. In here, I have a bunch of nutrition. Um, have some F2C glycodurance, uh, greens powder, have some gels in there. Moving down here, just kind of miscellaneous storage. Um, I have lots of towels always around for when I'm riding the trainer indoors. Some old shoe boxes for storage, and then uh, in here, I have a bunch of bike parts, including some tubes, some extra skewers, that sort of stuff. Use this uh, Ironman Chattanooga poster I got from the race to cover up our crawl space. This race I was incredibly underprepared for and it happened to be like 40 degrees Celsius the entire day so that was a rough one. This here my wife gave to me many years ago. It's a picture from my very first triathlon. I'm just about to hop in the water there and it says great work is done by people who are not afraid to be great picture of me and one of my mentors at my wedding. Here's a couple of kettlebell DVDs that I follow for my strength training routine. And there are two of my kettlebells. I try to do that a few times a week. I have a pair of shoes here. I don't actually run in these, but I will do some strength training in them every so often if I'm not barefoot. And these are from New Balance and they're a zero drop shoe, so they're completely flat. Here's my desk setup. This is where I answer emails, do my editing. It's where I update my athletes training programs and it's also where I ride Swift. I always have my gadgets ready. So I have just a basic Garmin bike computer and then my watch is an old nine, Garmin 910 XT, which has been a fantastic watch. Moving on from my desk, here are my trainers. I have a couple of Cyclops trainers. I typically don't use the Super Magneto Pro any longer, although this is a fantastic trainer. I got many years of use out of this. And then this monster here, this is the Cyclops Hammer. This is a smart trainer. So this is what I hook up every time I ride indoors. And I pair that with Zwift over there. And it's been a fantastic uh, training addition over the past couple of years. Here I have a big uh, training mat just to keep the carpet clean and keep the bike a little more stable. And these are my cycling shoes which have seen uh, better times. I probably should have replaced these a few years ago. They're falling apart and pretty disgusting. So here we have a bunch of my sunglasses. I have a super bright pair, another bright pair, just a different tint. Uh, my go-to glasses, basically since I started triathlon eight or nine years ago, a pair of Oakleys. Replaced the lens on those a few times and upgraded to polarized. And just a few other sunnies, some casual, some I like running in. 
move over here to the shoe rack. And this isn't even all my shoes. Uh, some of these are my wife's, but um, a lot of these I won't run in anymore. They should be probably donated to a thrift store or thrown out. Um, a lot of them are just worn out. And then I have a lot of shoes, like these are barefoot trail shoes from New Balance. Wouldn't really do a lot of running in those. I have this ultra lightweight uh, racing flat from Asics. I believe it's called the Piranha. Um, yeah, I'm not even sure I've done a run in those. Uh, these ones here, these were my favorite triathlon shoes of all time. They were the Gel Noosa Fast from Asics. Um, discontinued and unfortunately I can't find them any longer. I tried the Cloud Flows from On Running uh, maybe six months ago. And this has been an awesome shoe so far. I'm probably going to have to buy some new shoes right away and I'll probably buy some of the other models in On and give them a shot. All right, moving into the kitchen, um, a very important place for me. I may not look like it, but I can put away a lot of food and I need to to um, continue being a happy person. <laughs> I haven't been training a whole lot lately, but when I, when I am, a lot of food gets consumed in here. And I'll just show you some of the staples that I use when it comes to my kitchen space. So I won't bore you with what's in the fridge. Um, one staple that always has to be in the fridge is eggs. I love eggs. My whole family, my daughter, my wife loves eggs. And we go through a lot every week. Over here I have some oats, some rice. Uh, not sure what that is. Bananas are a staple. Typically we'll have two, three times more than this. So we're gonna have to buy a whole bunch of bunches. It's time to go to the store have my juicer in the corner. Um, one of my favorite cookbooks, Oh She Glows. I've made tons of recipes from here. Got my little coffee corner over here. It looks like it's just Tim Horton's coffee at the moment. Not my favorite brand, but it was, it was half the price of Starbucks coffee, so why not? All right, moving over here. This is my baby. This is my Vitamix. Um, we use this probably three to five times every day. I make smoothies for breakfast, I make smoothies for recovery shakes after training. One thing that's always in our freezer is this mixed berry blend frozen fruit. I typically buy the eight pound boxes. And these berries are delicious. In here I have some coconut water, honey, and coconut oil. We go through a lot of the coconut oil. Got to make sure you get your healthy fats in. Down below I have a huge wok, so I like using that when I'm making a lot of food. Uh, food pre processor is handy when I need it for something that the Vitamix can't do. And then Instant Pot, that's a new addition. I love that thing. We can cook a lot of food in no time at all. And then the slow cooker here in the back, that's always good for leaving it on overnight or while I'm gone for the day and coming home to a nice meal. Okay, going over to my recovery corner, as I like to call it. Uh, we have a lot of yoga mats over here for me and my wife, or if I have a friend over. Uh, this is her kettlebell. And then in the basket here, I have the R8 roller. Um, this thing is absolutely overpriced, but it does a, a really good job at rolling out the legs, calves especially. And then I know it's a bit of overkill, but I do have a bunch of rollers. I have a grid from Trigger Point. I have a Trigger Point ball, great for the glutes. I have the quad baller. I don't use this very much, but this one is good for calves and quads. I have a rumble roller. As you can tell, this one digs in deep. I have some stretchy bands. Don't really use those anymore, especially now that I have stretch cords. I have a yoga strap, so this just helps me get maybe a little bit deeper into some of my stretches. I have the old handy stick, as it's known, and I have a spunk mat. So this mat's pretty cool, it's an acupressure, acupressure, acupuncture, acupressure mat. Um, feels really nice laying on this without a shirt on, on your back. And when I remember to do this, I'll typically do this for 10 to 15 minutes at night. So the only other thing that I would have shown you would have been my swim bag, but it's just out in the car and not here at the moment. Uh, but it's pretty basic. Um, I use 
paddle slippers, snorkel, pull buoy, you know, all the basic stuff. And yeah, that's my triathlon show and tell. Um, that's a lot of the gear that I use on an almost daily basis. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber yet, subscribe for more everything running triathlon and nutrition related.